Oh, good morning. Welcome to your daily operations weather brief at 8:15. We have very nice conditions out there once again this morning. Uh, temperatures in the lower 60s for lows last night. Did have a little bit of patchy fog across the central portions of the Delmarva Peninsula. It didn't quite make it down here to Wallops, but overall, very nice morning with just some partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies out there. We'll be seeing uh, partly cloudy skies for this afternoon. This nice weather is all in thanks to an area of high pressure across the northeast states, ridging down the mid-Atlantic states. It's giving us uh, cooler conditions than expected during uh, early August, seeing temperatures about 5 to 10 degrees below normal across our region uh, last night, and we'll continue to see about 5 degrees below normal for today's highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. We're continuing to see this surface boundary across the Gulf Stream continuing to remain across that area. Really not going to impact our weather in the uh, short term here we'll have that boundary starting to lift north uh, for Saturday morning and that could possibly give us some showers and thunderstorms across our region but overall for uh, today and for most of Friday we're going to be seeing very nice conditions across the Mid-Atlantic region. Observation page from this morning we have uh, northerly light flow this morning giving us those drier, uh, drier air mass in the region that's also providing us with the uh, mostly sunny skies across the northern portions of Delmarva Peninsula this morning uh, and partly cloudy skies across the southern portions of the Delmarva Peninsula. Seeing our temperatures rising up quite nicely this morning, already seeing temperatures in the upper 80s. We'll see, as I mentioned, the highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. You can see the uh, mid-level cloudiness off across the southern portion of the Delmarva Peninsula this morning. That's going to continue to erode for the afternoon hours. We'll be seeing uh, mostly sunny skies during the afternoon hours and then we'll see an increase of our cloudiness for the evening hours. But across the region this morning we did have a broken deck at 9,000 feet, a broken deck at 25,000 feet, unrestricted visibilities as of 8 a.m. Our winds were out of a 350 azimuth or north at 4 knots, temperature was 68 degrees and relative humidity was at 89 percent. Looking at our risk chart for today we are all green across the board, no chance of precipitation or lightning. Uh, winds will be well under the 25, uh, not criteria. So for today we're just seeing mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies in general. Could see a brief period of mostly cloudy skies this morning as those uh, clouds around eight, uh, eight to 9,000 feet linger over the area. Seeing a high today at 79 degrees. Our winds will become onshore this afternoon. That's going to cap our uh, temperatures in the upper 70s. Seeing that wind anywhere from about an east-northeast direction to east-southeast direction this afternoon at 8 to 13 knots. This evening we're going to see our winds becoming more southeasterly. That's going to increase our humidity levels across our region. So the stretch of uh, lower humidity and uh, really kind of fall-like conditions across the Atlantic region is going to end uh, by our Friday. We'll see our winds becoming southerly tonight and then that will be variable as that high pressure still is in control for the overnight time period and that's going to allow for temperatures to drop a little bit uh, more than we would expect uh, for this time of year around 65 degrees. For our 24 hour terminal forecast, we have a broken deck of 9,000 feet, broken deck of 25,000 feet, as I mentioned currently. Seeing those clouds start to erode for the afternoon, just a few at 9,000, few at 25,000. And we work into this evening, we'll see an increase of the uh, mid and upper level cloudiness uh, by uh, 8, 8 o'clock this evening, or uh, 20 local was seeing a few at 15,000, broken deck of 25,000. And the overnight hours will be seeing mostly cloudy skies. Uh, and by tomorrow morning, Friday 8 a.m. local, we'll be seeing a scattered deck at 8,000 feet, a scattered deck at 12,000 feet, a broken deck at 15,000 feet, a broken deck at 25,000 feet. Could be seeing a little bit of patchy fog in the areas that saw it this morning across the central portions of Denmark Peninsula, but shouldn't see that down here at Wallops tomorrow morning. Our tides are slightly above normal. And looking at our extended outlook for Friday into Saturday, as I mentioned, we'll see that uh, very nice weather that we've had the last few days uh, kind of deteriorate into some unsettled conditions for especially Friday night into Saturday. But for Friday, we'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies, a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm by late evening, a high of 79 degrees. It will be more humid by Friday afternoon with a southerly flow during the daytime. And uh, by Friday evening as well, we could be seeing some low clouds coming in the region. So we have a yellow for precipitation, lightning, and also for ceilings below 500 feet. For Friday night, we'll have mostly cloudy skies or showers and thunderstorms likely during the overnight time period. As I mentioned, we'll have that boundary 
across the Gulf Stream moving back into our region. Also an upper level disturbance moving along that boundary that's going to give us a fairly good chance of some showers and thunderstorms. We're having orange for our precip and for our lightning with a yellow for the ceilings below 500 feet. And for Saturday, we'll have mostly cloudy skies, a chance of showers and thunderstorms during the morning, becoming partly cloudy during the afternoon with additional chance of showers and a thunderstorm uh, by afternoon in the evening. It'll be humid on Saturday with a high of 82 degrees and we have an orange for precip and lightning uh, for Saturday. So looking like the best chance of showers and thunderstorms on Saturday right now are during the morning with just a slight chance during the afternoon. Uh, the models are still having a difficult time with the timing of the disturbance on Saturday. If that distur disturbance excuse me, slows down for Saturday afternoon, the thunderstorm chances Friday night will be less likely and more likely for Saturday afternoon. Uh, and if it does slow down for Saturday afternoon, we could be dealing with once again, some stronger thunderstorms in the region. Well, that's going to complete the weather brief uh, at 8.15 this morning. We'll be back at 10 o'clock for the extended look into this next seven days.